take a few deep cleansing breaths now. Breathe in, in through your nose. Fill the belly, the diaphragm, the lungs. And exhale out through the nose or the mouth, your choice. Inhale, breathe full and deep. Really fill every cell in your body with oxygen, prana, life force, energy. Exhale, release all that no longer serves you. Relax your muscles. Release the tension from your body. Release any thoughts or worries or fears about the past or the future. Only now exists. There's nothing to do, nowhere to be. Just being here right now, breathing. With each breath, allow every muscle in your body to melt. Begin to feel the energy within and around you slowing down. Going deeper and deeper inside now. Begin to visualize a beautiful bubble of white light surrounding your entire aura and energy now. Anything positive or negative that would do you harm is not allowed to flow near. Call in any guides, angels, archangels, God, Goddess, the Divine, that Source Creator that created you to be here now to guide you, protect you, work with you and through you and heal you on your journey. Now we invite in the guardians, the gatekeepers, the elements of the four cardinal directions, beginning in the east element of air, Archangel Raphael resides here of the green ray, feeling the energy of new beginnings, the rising sun, breath of life. Turning clockwise now to south element of fire. Archangel Michael resides here of the electric blue ray. Archangel Michael comes in with his golden sword. And here you may ask Archangel Michael to sever any and all negative cords and attachments from you and to you now. Allowing only loving cords and balance to remain. Here, fire burns clean, purifies, 
allowing you to rise up like the phoenix from the ashes. We turn now to West, element of water. Archangel Gabriel resides here of the diamond white ray. He fills his beautiful chalice with diamond white ray energy, inviting you to take a sip to feel its healing benefits. Water asks you to flow with the waves of life, the ups, the downs, like a beautiful, song, music, flowing, free, and allowing you to feel your emotions as they happen, rather than repressing them. Water has beautiful cleansing and purification properties. Now we turn to North, element of Earth. Archangel Uriel resides here of the Red Ray, architecture and structure. In the North, Earth asks you to send all that no longer serves you down, where it can be composted fertilizer. Here we connect to our ancestors, the ancient ones, the medicine men and women of the past that have done the work, crossed into light, our in healed space. We invite you here now to work for our highest and best good. We also invite in our future luminous self from 10,000 years in the future to come forth in this ever-evolving present now moment. Now that we've called in the horizontal force, we're going to call in the vertical force. We call in Archangel Sindalfin of the 5D Earth's crystalline grid below. Rising up with silver energy from the core of Earth, allow that beautiful energy to flow into your feet, your ankles, your thighs all the way up through your legs, into your torso, your hips, filling the root chakra, the tailbone, sacral, just above, filling every organ in your body. The silver energy rises up higher and higher, meeting your heart, the center of your entire being, the portal to the universe as we connect to your heart. We call in Archangel Sendolphin, Archangel Shamuel rather, of the heart center. Archangel Shamuel comes in with unconditional love, the divine messenger angel. He brings love into this present middle world. And from above, we invite in Archangel Metatron of the Christ grid, Buddha consciousness, galactic central sun. Archangel Metatron has golden energy and allow this golden ascension grid energy to flow down now through your soul star chakra that's 
just above your crown. The golden energy flows into the crown of your head where you may feel the tingling sensation through your third eye, into your brain, your visual cortex, pineal gland, pituitary gland. Down further into your throat, your high heart chakra that connects you to the galactic heart center. And into your heart where it blends and merges with the silver energy, the pink energy. Seven angels all around you, above you, below you, within you, surrounding you with a sphere of protection. Begin to visualize yourself now in your sacred space. For you, this could be by the ocean, in a garden, or somewhere deep in space amongst the stars. Wherever this is for you, this is your sacred space. Only those you invite are allowed to flow near. The magic of this space is you can create it to be what you would like it to be. You come here to heal, rejuvenate, to find peace. Soon you begin to notice a beautiful portal of light, bright, warm, cleansing, calling you near, stepping closer and closer. It gets brighter and brighter. And as you step through the portal of light, take a moment here to enjoy this cleansing portal, these energies, so that when you step out of the portal, you are cleansed, purified, and renewed. As you step out of this portal, you find yourself on a beautiful path sprinkled with trees, it's a warm, sunny day. You can see the sun peeking through the trees, taking your walk down this path. You begin to ponder what you'd like to create. What are your deepest desires? What is your soul calling to you now? And what do you feel is in your way? Soon you'll find that any limitation is often self-created. And it's all about getting out of our own way. On this path, you may notice beautiful flowers scents in the air from this beautiful sacred place. Smell the trees, smell the earth. Enjoy walking barefoot on the grass. Notice if there are any animal critters that come to greet you on your journey. You may begin to hear the noises in this sacred place from all the animals, the birds, the owls. The ones you hear are the ones 
coming to you for divine messages tonight. Soon you begin to hear a little bit of running water nearby. And as you continue to walk, it gets louder and louder. And as you come to a beautiful, vast clearing, you see the golden waterfall. Coming closer and closer to this beautiful golden waterfall. Sparkling under the beautiful sun. And joyfully, happily basking in this water is Lord Ganesha. You may even be called to the mantra that invites Lord Ganesha in your life. Om Gam Ganapatiye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapatiye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapatiye Namaha. You are invited to also step into this water by the waterfall and join this unique golden color. Gold is transmutational, alchemical energy, assisting you in removing all that no longer serves you, transmuting all into pure, neutral energy. You decide what this energy will look like you decide which direction this energy will go always. This energy will look exactly how you decide. Here, allow what no longer serves you to be released. Lord Ganesha's energy is imbued and infused in this beautiful water. And Ganesha smiles at you. Ganesha may even use his trunk, taking in water and then spraying it over you to assist with the cleansing and purification effect. Ganesha knows that with joy and upliftment, there is clarity. You may be called to go under the waterfall itself and really feel it filling and infusing your aura, your entire body. Lord Ganesha's energy is in all of this water. And now you are invited to lie back in this water. As you lie back in the water, you can float down the river gently. Enjoying gazing up at the blue sky, the different clouds floating by, clouds that may show up as shapes, meaningful symbols and shapes to you. And as you are in this golden water, notice that the water itself is extracting all that no longer serves you, pulling it from through your body and out your feet down the river as you flow down the river. Begin to notice that the clean, pure energy 
from behind you, flowing into your crown, filling and infusing all the space that is created from what is extracted. Flowing down this golden river. Enjoy the peace, the serenity, the truth at the core of the universe. All is well. You are always supported. Soon the cleansing, the magic from the river is complete and you are called now to stand in the river and begin to walk to the side of the river, stepping back on the grass where you dry very quickly under the warmth of the sun. Here you notice a beautiful golden path winding its way deeper and deeper through this sacred, beautiful place. Of course, it shines so bright it calls to you. Stepping on this golden path, you realize you have already cleared the way the way has been cleared for you. And every twist and turn on your path is a part of what's leading you to your destination. It is all exactly as it should be. Walking on this beautiful path, notice all the different colored flowers, even butterflies. The sun is beginning to set. So you notice the beautiful, unique colors, very luminescent here in this sacred place. Seeing the colors in a new way, brighter, glowing. You may even begin to see the light codes and the frequencies and the energy and the air and the plants and the trees and the sky. This golden path leads you to a beautiful temple. The pillars on either side of the vast golden doors inviting you in now, stepping closer and closer. As the doors open, you come inside this beautiful temple, crystal, stones, the floor made of a beautiful rose quartz for unconditional love energy, the walls made of selenite, white selenite of the earth, beautiful joy, it's pure light, it is said to hold the energy of the full moon. There is a temple inside the temple. So you are led to a door in the back of this temple. Opening that door, you go inside. The walls are purple, made of amethyst. There's a beautiful altar set up 
many candles all around. Sitting by this beautiful altar, you notice all the different crystals, some unique ones, many you could call to as yours. Notice their colors, their energy. Lord Ganesha is represented here on this altar to assist you with continuing its cleansing, removing the obstacles of for that which you came in with your intention tonight. One of the beautiful crystals sitting high like a tower begins to light up and it sends beautiful golden energy now into your root chakra, Uladhari. Into your red root chakra found at the tailbone, this golden energy fills the root chakra, dissolves all that no longer serves you, any low frequencies and vibrations here. This is your support. How well you feel supported here, grounded. In the present moment is where you are most grounded. Allow the golden energy to continue to infuse itself in your root chakra to help clear the way. And now that golden energy rises up like a laser beam to your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is orange found just below your belly button. Here is where you create. Here is where your sensuality and sexuality resides. The womb, it is where you came from. Here's where you tap into your deepest desires, your creativity. If you are feeling blocked here, it is time to work on cleansing and purifying. So allow this golden energy to clear the way so that your soul's mission, your bliss is made clear. What makes you happy is your bliss. It's your soul's mission. The cleansing continues, filling and infusing, allowing your chakras to spin with their original radiance. The golden energy rises up now, filling your solar plexus, your power center. If you are feeling overactive or not active enough, there may be an imbalance here. This is your power center where the seat of your power resides. Allow that golden energy to fill, infuse, cleanse, and clear. Filling you with more will energy, energy to achieve your goals. Spinning its vibrant, fast, fastest rate for your solar plexus now. We begin to see that golden energy rising up to your heart center, your green heart center, where you give and receive love and balance. It is the center of your entire being. Here is where the best decisions are made. You may take logic into consideration, but your heart leads you on the right path. Allow the golden energy to fill and infuse you here. 
Here is where emotion may arise. As the golden energy cleanses and purifies, it washes away anything that says to you that you are unworthy. Because that is not truth. What is truth is you are all deserving and worthy of giving and receiving love and balance. Allow yourself to feel that balance being made in your heart center, spinning faster and faster now. The golden energy goes just a little higher to your high heart center, often seen as a pink energy, connecting you to unconditional love, to the galactic heart center, The golden energy rises higher through your thyroid gland that regulates everything in your body and all the way up to your throat, cleansing and clearing this sky blue chakra. The sky blue chakra designates your communication with others, the other side. Here is where you share your voice, your divine expression, and allowing others the same. Take a moment to feel the golden energy filling and infusing this beautiful chakra. Begin to see an extra beautiful electric blue energy expanding like a sphere into your entire aura and energy, attracting higher vibrational people to you here. The golden energy rises higher and higher to your third eye. Your third eye is at the center of your forehead, seen as indigo, a deep purple energy. Often as you focus here, you may feel a gentle pressure. Some may see an actual eye or a triangle, a pyramid. Here as the golden energy infuses, cleanses, clears and purifies your third eye, it reaches back and connects to your visual cortex and pineal gland and pituitary gland to also cleanse, clear, and purify, to make way for higher vision, clarity, and understanding. So your desires are seen clearly, created with more clarity, vision, understanding at the third eye, with love at the heart and right action at the solar plexus. Notice what you see here. The golden energy continues to rise now to your crown, the top of your head, connecting here clearing away the cobwebs for a deeper connection to your divine source creator for more peace, joy, and bliss. Feeling that at the top of your head, your pur purple crown chakra. Allow the energy to rise now. The golden energy begins to rise all the way up to your soul star, found about a foot above your head. It may be seen as a pink sphere of energy. Here the golden energy connects, infuses, opens your soul star. 
the soul star can also be seen as like a ball of energy like the sun and as this golden energy fills it up you are able to more easily connect to that energy it fills and infuse your fuses your aura with your soul's mission Soon the golden energy is complete. You begin to notice the crystal before you once again. And now there is something new on the altar awaiting you. This new element on the altar is a gift. It may be something that brings a deeper clarity for you with regard to your challenge, your situation your desire, your wish to manifest. Notice what this symbol is, or word, flower, or crystal. Thanking the energies for this cleansing, alchemical, beautiful transformational, transmutational process for their clarity. You step away from the altar, out of the little temple into the larger temple enjoying the feel of the rose quartz on your feet you begin to step out of the larger temple under the beautiful nighttime sky noticing all of the stars you notice the golden path lit up for you Enjoying noticing all the different fireflies lighting up within the trees. There may be fairy guides helping you on your path. Walking now under the beautiful nighttime sky, enjoying this golden path. that reminds you it is all laid out before you. The way is clear. And you may continue to come back here anytime you need to remind yourself to clear those limitations, to receive a higher perspective. Soon, a beautiful portal of light appears on the golden path, leading you now to step through this portal of light. You make your way back into your safe, sacred space where you began.
we thank the guides, the angels, the archangels, the gatekeepers of the horizontal and vertical force, Archangel Metatron from above, Archangel Shamuel within the heart, and Archangel Sindolf and below, and we release you. We thank Archangel Uriel in the north, Gabriel in the west, Michael in the south, and Raphael in the east, and we release you. And as your energy recedes, we ask that you please continue the work in the background for the highest and best good of all, always. And all energy that has been released, we turn our hands down to Mother Earth and we send it down to Gaia, inviting Gaia to take this energy, transform and transmute it into pure light, sending it around the planet to where it needs to go for the highest and best good of all, always. As you are ready, begin to allow your awareness to come back more fully in this room, in the present moment, wiggling fingers and toes, 